In 2004, Moroccan middle distance runner Hisham Al Guru sealed his spot as perhaps the greatest middle distance runner of all time when he won the Olympic gold medal over the 1500 meters and 5000 meters at the Athens Olympics. The world record holder over the 1500 meters and the mile had done almost everything else there was to do in the sport of middle distance running. But until this point, in the latter stages of his career, the gold medal from the Olympic Games had eluded him. To appreciate just how much he had to overcome and just how much of a journey he was on to win this particular event, let's rewind the clock eight years back to Atlanta in 1996 when a young Al Garouge, already a top athlete amongst the world's middle distance runners, was considered a potential favourite or at least a medalist against the likes of Noradine Morsali in the 1500 metre final. With just over 400 metres to go, he seemed to be placed perfectly to be contesting for the medals over the last lap. However, the tightly bunched field proved to be a troubling factor for Al Garouge because just as he looked ready to step out and start making a move for home, his heels were clipped and Al Garouge fell to the ground, being left behind this tightly packed field. Though he finished the race, he was well off the back of the field and was left devastated and left waiting for another four years until he had another chance to win his Olympic gold medal. He didn't waste any time in that four-year break. In fact, the disappointment from Atlanta seemed to fuel the fire for the success that he went on to achieve. From 1996 to the year 2000, he won the World Indoor 1500 meter title in 1997. Later that year, he won the Outdoor World Championship for 1500 meters. The following year, he was crowned Golden League champion in 1998 for his consistent performances over the European circuit. And then again in 1999, he went on to win the World Championships over 1500 meters. The year 2000 came around and Al Garouge was in some of the hottest form of his life and was the hot favourite to win the men's 1500 metre final in Sydney. In true Al Garouge style, he took up the pace and started trying to run away from the field with about 700 metres to go. With 150 metres to go, it seemed a flip of the coin as to who would win this race with no Yen right on his shoulder. But then, as Al Garouge started to dig deep, you could see that he wasn't quite maintaining the pace that he needed to maintain to take out this event. And knowing Yen, with about 75 metres left in the race, came up to his shoulder and then ran straight past him. A photo was taken of him at the end of this 1500 metre race, and we're told that he hung it at the end of his bed to wake up every morning and see it and use it as incentive and motivation to make sure that he never lost another 1500 metre title. Once again, Al Garouge got back up from his disappointment and spent the next few years refining and refining. In 2001, he won the 3000 meter indoor title in Portugal and later that same year won the men's 1500 meter world championship in Edmonton in Canada. His arrival at the Athens Olympic had been slightly different and the pressure had been reduced significantly as in the races just weeks before the Olympic Games were to start, Al Garouge was beaten by a number of athletes who in the past he had run away from quite easily. With the disappointment of the last two Olympics hot on his mind, Al Garouge had a great deal of pressure that he had to overcome. With the likes of Rui Silva and Bernard Lager and a number of top athletes right at his heels, Al Garouge was really going to have to work to achieve what had eluded him for so many years. At the start of the 1500 metres in Athens, Al Garouj seemed to gradually work his way into the field and sit in a relatively comfortable position near the front of the field without taking up the pace too early. And then in true Al Garouj fashion, the way that we had seen him dominate so many races over the 1500 metres in previous years, Al Garouj stuck it to the field and gradually started winding up the pace with 700 metres to go. Though most of the field started to spread out significantly, Bernard Lagat once again sat right on his heels. Then with 300 metres to go, started pressuring Al Garouge. 150 metres to go, Al Garouge was still in the lead, but Bernard Lagat had not dropped at all. 90 metres to go, Al Garouge was challenged once again by Bernard Lagat as he approached him on the outer right shoulder. Almost as though the memories of his failed attempts to win Olympic gold medals from the last two Olympics was just drawn to his mind, Al Garouge seemed to be able to dig deeper, slightly edging him out to win his first Olympic 1500 metre title.